Welcome to Zoo's Family Channel tutorial on how to create a Kali Linux Live image on a flash drive with persistence. In this video, we will guide you through the process step by step, so you can run Kali Linux from your flash drive and save your progress even after shutting down your computer. To get started, you'll need to download two things, the Kali Linux ISO image and Rufus, a tool that will help you write the image to your flash drive. You can download both of these from their official websites. Or, you need to download and run Etcher on your system. Then, choose the Kali Linux ISO file and verify the USB drive to be overwritten is the correct one. Once ready, click on the Flash button to start the process. Once Etcher alerts you that the image has been flashed, you can safely remove the USB drive. This will create a bootable Kali Linux USB drive. Once you've downloaded both files, insert your flash drive into your computer. Make sure it has at least 16 GB of storage and is a USB 3.0 for faster speeds. Open up Rufus and select the correct flash drive from the drop-down menu. Be careful not to select the wrong one as this will erase all the contents on the drive. Next, select the Kali Linux ISO image you downloaded earlier. Make sure the image is labeled as Live, as this is the version that supports persistence. Now, adjust the persistent partition size to your liking. This is the amount of storage space that will be dedicated to saving your progress on the flash drive. Once you've selected your preferred partition size, click Start to begin the process. After a few minutes, Rufus will finish writing the image to your flash drive. Once it's done, you can eject the flash drive and boot from it on any computer. Your progress will be saved on the persistent partition, so you can pick up where you left off at any time. That's it. With these simple steps, you can create a Kali Linux Live image on a flash drive with persistence. In summary, creating a Kali Linux bootable USB with persistence involves using a tool like Etcher to flash the Kali Linux ISO file onto a USB drive and enabling persistence during the live session. Persistence allows you to save any changes made to the system during a live session, making it a useful feature for portable operating systems like Kali Linux. Happy hacking!